Please stay tuned until the end of the video for full indication and important safety information. As you and your healthcare professional consider Dupixent, Dupilumab, think about how you are currently living with your uncontrolled moderate to severe eczema, atopic dermatitis. Think about how it has impacted you. Do you get overwhelmed by the urge to scratch? Are topical steroids and other creams not giving you the relief you want? Well, what if you could manage your eczema to stay ahead of your symptoms? Imagine the possibility of clearer skin. With Dupixent, many people saw clear or almost clear skin. They also had significantly less itch. That's a difference you can see and feel. So talk to your healthcare provider about how Dupixent may help heal your skin from within. Indication. Dupixent is a prescription medicine used to treat people 12 years of age and older with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, eczema, that is not well controlled with prescription therapies used on the skin, topical, or who cannot use topical therapies. Dupixent can be used with or without topical corticosteroids. It is not known if Dupixent is safe and effective in children with atopic dermatitis under 12 years of age. Important safety information. Do not use if you are allergic to Dupilumab or to any of the ingredients in Dupixent. Before using Dupixent, tell your healthcare provider about all your medical conditions, including if you have eye problems, have a parasitic helminth infection, are taking oral, topical, or inhaled corticosteroid medicines. Do not stop taking your corticosteroid medicines unless instructed by your healthcare provider. This may cause other symptoms that were controlled by the corticosteroid medicine to come back. Are scheduled to receive any vaccinations. You should not receive a live vaccine if you are treated with Dupixent. Are pregnant or plan to become pregnant. It is not known whether Dupixent will harm your unborn baby. Are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. It is not known whether Dupixent passes into your breast milk. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. If you are taking asthma medicines, do not change or stop your asthma medicine without talking to your healthcare provider. Dupixent can cause serious side effects, including allergic reactions, hypersensitivity, including a severe reaction known as anaphylaxis. Stop using Dupixent and tell your healthcare provider or get emergency help right away if you get any of the following symptoms. Breathing problems, fever, general ill feeling, swollen lymph nodes, swelling of the face, mouth, and tongue, hives, itching, fainting, dizziness, feeling lightheaded, low blood pressure, joint pain, or skin rash. Eye problems. Tell your healthcare provider if you have any new or worsening eye problems, including eye pain or changes in vision. The most common side effects in patients with atopic dermatitis include injection site reactions, eye and eyelid inflammation, including redness, swelling, and itching, and cold sores in your mouth or on your lips. Tell your healthcare provider if you have any side effect that bothers you or does not go away. These are not all the possible side effects of Dupixent. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Use Dupixent exactly as prescribed. Dupixent is an injection given under the skin, subcutaneous injection. If your healthcare provider decides that you or a caregiver can give Dupixent injections, you or your caregiver should receive training on the right way to prepare and inject Dupixent. Do not try to inject Dupixent until you have been shown the right way by your healthcare provider. In children 12 years of age and older, it is recommended that Dupixent be administered by or under supervision of an adult. Please see accompanying full prescribing information, including patient information.